So, I heard from One Police Plaza they received my letter, and apparently they also received hundreds of others in support of CJ. Yeah, Emily and I sent those in, so. Emily, what was that burn I had you write down for Amy because I didn't want to forget it? Why so sad? Did you just find out American Girl doesn't make clothes in adult sizes? No. Steven Seagal called and he wants his ponytail back? Uh-uh. Gina colon, hey Amy, what did one graphing calculator say to the other one? Amy colon what? Gina colon, why does this said lady own, own two? Oh, that's, that's it. <laughs> hey, Amy. You know what? Congratulations. You just made sure that a terrible captain will be sticking around here indefinitely. Come on, Santiago. We're just trying to make the best of it. Yogurt? Never. Madeline, thank you for coming. Raymond, always a pleasure to call on a vanquished foe. I feel like Jackie Joyner Kersey congratulating one of the other slower runners. Buckle up. It's going to be a hell of a ride. Care to sit? I'm sure you'd like to take some weight off your cloven hooves. Calling me the devil? How original, Raymond. Actually, I was calling you a goat. You goat. <laughs> <laughs> you have until tomorrow. You grackle. I may not be the man for the job. You used to be the precinct's champion marksman. I only want to take pointers from the best, so I'll keep it low-key. We'll go after work, to a private range, no cops, no pressure. Blam! Oh. Blam! Blam! Gun range. I told Gina she could join us. I want to get certified. There has been a ton of crime in my neighborhood, and the cops in my precinct are very bad. You live in our precinct. Yeah, I know. Olivia Crawford just got off the elevator. My rival for the commissionership. She's here right now. I've got to come up with a confident opening salvo. Think, Raymond. Think. Hello, Raymond. Olivia, you have a little bit of goop in your eye. Oh, thank you. I'm sorry to barge in like this, but I have a source on the nominating committee. They're making their recommendation to the mayor at the end of next week, and it seems that John Kelly is going to beat out both of us. Big shocker, the straight white man wins again. Exactly. Man. That was my complaint about Owen winning Top Chef Junior, and you guys all acted like I was crazy. Half of the committee supports John Kelly, and the other half is divided between the two of us. We're splitting the vote. So for either of us to have a chance, one of us needs to step aside. Exactly. You should drop it. Is what you said to yourself in the mirror this morning instead of checking your eye for goop. And I agree, you should drop out. Is what you said to yourself in the mirror this morning while polishing your head. Don't you think it's time New York had its first female commissioner? What about its first openly gay commissioner? Yes, that would be vital and important if you weren't one million years old. You do know that exaggeration is the huckster's crutch. Also, I come off quite youthful. You just said huckster's crutch. Step aside, Grandpa. For you, and you, and you. What are these? These, madam, are STDs. What are you talking about, buddy? STDs. Save the dates for Vivian and my wedding. Ah, yes. Hey, just out of curiosity, how many people have you given STDs to? Lots. Like a hundred. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? Uh, oh, okay, I get it. STD has another meaning. That. You're gross. No one else is gonna think that. Everyone is going to think that, but it's sweet that your mind didn't go there. Thank you. It is kind of sweet. Will your first dance be to You Give Me Fever? Will you be serving crabs at the reception? Do you have herpes? Guys, this is my wedding. This is important to me. No more jokes. You're right, and we're sorry. Yes. We love you, buddy. Warts and all. Sorry, I made a rash decision. I was itching to say it. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> I have an STD. What is all this? You know how I think Halloween is for jerks? Well, this Halloween, I was the jerk. I'm sorry about tonight. I'm sorry about tonight. We found the title for Santiago's follow-up sex tape. <laughs> I'm sorry I couldn't convince you to love Halloween. It's not your fault. I was terrible. It's not your fault I was terrible is also one of your sex tapes. Halloween is unbearable, but it was slightly less unbearable with you. Don't. Okay. I'm a front runner for a job in the Boston PD. Boston, but it's so close to Salem. You do know what they do to witches up there, don't you? This is amazing. Oh my God, Amy, that's so cool that you still live with your grandmother. I live alone. This is my stuff. I like quilts. Stop, each sentence is getting fatter. Yeek, blast of cold air coming out of that box. Name of Amy's sex tape. Hey man, come on, not cool. I'm going through something, just let me have this one. How'd it go with Miller? 
Fantastic, you loved me. I would give you more details, but someone just came in to try and find her Dalmatian coat. Hello, Raymond. Madeline, I wondered why all the birds had suddenly stopped singing. What brings you here? I heard you were under investigation by Internal Affairs. Didn't want to miss that. So much time with your ear to the pavement, it's a pity a truck hasn't run over your head. In the next phase of my plan, a quote-unquote skating accident. But you knocked out your two front teeth. False teeth. Fake blood. I lost my real teeth at Ben Sutton's birthday party in fourth grade. Oh, you made sure I didn't remember that. It was minute five of seven minutes in heaven with Todd Cohen when he bumped the wall and the bowling ball fell on my face. Maybe I just wasn't at that party. Once I had faked the skating mishap, I swapped out a dummy plaque for the real one. Then I left to go to the dentist. And you convinced your dentist to help you carry out the rest of the heist? No. Of course not. Go ahead. I came back wearing the perfect disguise to make sure I was never noticed by anyone. Something so drab and uninspiring. This feels like it's going to be a dig on me. I wore Amy's clothes. There it is. This is your doing, you and your male prostitute. Bill is not a male prostitute, I don't think. That suit is not drab. It has a fun salmon lining. No, Amy, it made me invisible. Wow, the competition looks even older in person. What do you think these dinosaurs are talking about? Where to find Matlock reruns? <laughs> Be professional, Gina. Like the home care nurses who will tuck them into bed tonight. <laughs> oh, hello, John. Raymond? I just want to say what an honor it is to be up for the same job as a man with your experience. Thank you. I paused suggestively before I said experience so he would know it wasn't really a compliment. Who are you talking to? I invented the pause. Raymond Holt, I'm Captain Olivia Crawford. I'm the new candidate for commissioner. Oh? Excuse me? Yeah, I replaced the other candidate. He retired to spend more time with his grandchildren. Anyway, I just wanted to say what a privilege it is to be up for the same job as a man with your tenure. Oh, damn, she paused you. In error, I am certain. <sighs> Lunch. Hello, Raymond. You're looking old and sickly. So nice of you to greet us, Madeline. I thought surely you'd still be crushed under that house in Munchkinland. Sticks and stones, Raymond. Describing your breakfast? Hello, Captain Holt. Ah, Captain Crawford. To what do I owe the pleasure? Captain Crawford is here to see you. Thank you, Gina. So, it would seem that we have become frenemies. Do you know what that means? Are you trying to imply that I'm too old to understand a portmanteau? I am not. But I am too dignified to use one, friend, enemy. I just wanted to thank you for your brave speech. The mayor's office has replaced the selection committee with a less biased one, so... Feel free to start calling me commissioner now. The only time I plan on calling you is to hear you concede. It's going to be hard to hear anything once I've crushed you into a fine powder. A fine powder that will choke you until you die. May the better candidate win. She will. I'm only human. You can't always expect me to be the coolest guy ever. Coolest guy ever? Try telling that to Alan Greenspan. Nice burn, Bob.